All right, let's turn the music on. Ready? Ooh, wait a minute. Well, good, good afternoon, good folk. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop, coming to you from the dining room of the 1925 bungalow. And today I've got a thrift haul old Christmas. Now, when I say old Christmas, I'm talking about Christmas that we remember from the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. That's pretty much what's on this table today. And I'm going to review everything with you now. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because tomorrow night, Monday, that's the Monday after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm having a live sale, 8 o'clock New Jersey time, which is Eastern time. And if you tune in at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, we are going to have a lot of fun. There'll be a couple of trivia questions. I've got a surprise giveaway to give away. And all these wonderful old Christmas items will be available for you. To bid on yeah okay so uh, what I'm gonna do now is take a sip of this hot chocolate and put it right back here on my hot pad it is a cold raw rainy day here in the east on the East Coast and I've got my heater I had it on 65 but I just turned it up to 67 Ooh. okay you didn't really want to hear about my, my, my thermostat settings at least I don't think First, I hope everyone did enjoy their Thanksgiving holiday. I know I did. Okay, let's take a look first of all at this little guy, which I've had him heating up for a while here to get this bubble light to bubble. Now you can stick it, <laughs> you can stick any light in there you want. I'm gonna be auctioning it tomorrow night with that bubble light in there. But here's a silly little tree topper from the 1960s. I think it's funny looking with that dumb little light bulb in there. But again, it might have had an angel in it. I'm sure it did not have that bubble light in it when it, when it, when it was new, but you may do with it any way you like. Uh, it doesn't have any damage to it. Let me unplug it. It's all extension cords around here, folks. That's what it looks like unplugged. There's a little plug and it will stop bubbling in a minute. Oh, it says something on the top. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to read that. You see that tiny little, are you kidding me? I need to get my magnifying glass. Cute little tree topper there, which we'll have. Oh, now some of these things are battery operated and I gotta go out and get the batteries. So you won't see them do their thing today. You're gonna have to tune in tomorrow night at eight o'clock. But the first thing we'll look at, we love our old boxes and we take them in whatever condition we can get. Not so bad, really, in the scope of things, made in Japan, 1960s, late 50s maybe. And it says, um, it blinks, battery operated. It says, Wee Willy Winky, Wee Willy Winky Electric Xmas Tree. Yeah, isn't that neat? And I've got it uh, in pieces. <laughs> it's got a little bit of damage, but it does work. At least it did operate the last time. I need to stick a new battery in it. The base, it has broken, but it will still stand up. So with the proper battery in there, you um, when you turn this gizmo, it will it will go up in there and uh, cause this to light up. Again, you gotta get a battery. And then you drop this little tree down over top of it, and all those little plastic jewels in there will light up. Now, apparently, in the late '50s, this must have been very exciting. Uh, so the only damage is the, the broken base, but it will still stand up and you can display it that way and you don't really see the broken piece in the back, all right? And we've got this wonderful box that goes with it. 
So tomorrow night, you better come back and you'll see that little thing all lit up if it's, if it's, if I can get it to uh, do what it's supposed to do. The second one that I've got, uh, let me see here. Okay, the second one that I've got, here's the box for it. That box is a little more, but as I said, you listen, if we, you can restore these boxes, I've done it. These are great display pieces just, just as an old box. And what does this one say? Battery operated. Christmas tree. It blinks. Well, it blinks if you put a blinking light bulb in it. It doesn't have to blink if you don't want it to. This one is a little bit nicer because it has a metal base with a little on and off right here. Again, got to put the batteries in it. So that's the cone and nothing is missing. All those little plastic things will light up. There's our little light bulb. Very cute. Okay. So yeah, the, you know, af, ma, these are made after the war, probably the night, as I said, late fifties to uh, probably early sixties. Now we're going to have a couple of tree stands. Let's look at, let's look at this one first and then I can put it on the floor. Here's one that's got all the little sparkles on it. I remember we had, when I was little, I think we had a kitchen table, a Formica kitchen table that had glitter in it like this. You could, you could write on it in pencil. You could do your math problems on it in pencil and then just erase it. Anyway, why don't we plug this in and see what happens? Watch me electrocute myself. All right, I'll put it on my lap and I'll plug it in. That might not be a good idea, but. I want you to see, here we go. Ooh, okay, I think we're all right. It's spinning. I'll let you see it spin. It, the motor is very quiet. You see it spinning? Yeah, so your uh, aluminum tree will twirl. Oh, we've got music. All right, let's turn the music on. Ready? Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Oh, jingle bells. Silent Night. I don't know how many tunes that you get with this thing, but I'll tell you. Let's wait and see. Back to Jingle Bells again. Okay, enough of that. more than 10 minutes of that and I'm going to be looking for the eggnog, you know, with a little something in it. All right, let's unplug that. But at least you know it does make noise. And it's in good condition. I don't have an original box for that, but that shouldn't be too much of a, a problem. Uh, now let me see. Let's do these. I've got three of these made in Germany after the war. West Germany is usually where these things were made. They're beautiful embossed calendar tops. Now, when you, uh, the calendar would be attached down here, but you could string ribbon through this and sort of do something down here if you don't like the way that looks. But very thickly embossed, very heavily embossed, as you can see. Uh, the, the heavy cardboard and these are in good shape here we have a winter scene that's a big one and a nice one and then here we've got a second one. Oh yeah made in Western Germany so we know that we're clearly after the war and there we have that one with some birds on top You see there? 
with the holly and the ivy. You'll see that you'll see them. I'm just showing you, but tomorrow night for the live sale, you'll really get a we'll spend more time. And then we've got the manger scene here. I might like to keep this one. Yeah, that's beautiful. So I have three of those in wonderful condition. I don't know what I'm going to do with the, well, I'm going to sell them, but I'm not sure how yet. Uh, maybe break them up into lots. I've got some old New Year's Eve napkins. Look at the beautiful colors, just as bright as it can be. And they're all in that condition. And um, old napkins. How old do you think those things are? I think they're quite old. I have a, step, a stack of those. Now let's get this out of the, well, let's see, we've got a little snowman. Corn cob pipe is gone, but you can fashion something for that. I'm going fast, uh, as I said, because uh, you'll see these tomorrow night. This I remember from my childhood. We had the identical one on our tree. when I, I know this is at least 55 years old because we've got pictures in 1967 and this is on the tree at my house. Not this one, but the same thing. I, just, I can remember we would run around and try to stab each other with this as children. Uh, funny looking thing. And I've got the little piece there that's broken off. I have to glue it back on. The one little rib broke off of there. Strange little tree topper from the 60s. And then there's going to be, um, there's going to be a bunch of these putz houses from, uh, not the German ones, but the, I think most of these are going to be the made in Japan. So I've got several of these. I'll probably group them all together. That was one and two. There's three and four. And five. You say, slow down, I can't see it. Ah, you got to tune in tomorrow night. We'll try to keep it just, ooh, that's hot. We'll try to keep it uh, just at two hours, no more than that, from eight to 10 tomorrow night, Monday night. Now, I can put these over here. I'm trying to consolidate. This is not easy to find. And O E L. The gang's all here. No L. Or of course Leon if you would like to rearrange them. And so they each have a different face. Made in Japan. Commodore? Yeah. None of these are broken. None of the letters broke off. None. Can you believe it? You can't. How do I find these things? Because it's old New Jersey and it's old Pennsylvania. And we've got rows and rows and rows of houses filled with this stuff from generation after generation. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. We've done those. We've done those. I'm going to do little uh, groupings. I guess you might call it lots. I've got a bunch of piddly things I probably will group all together, such as this. This is going to be one piddly little lot. We have this uh, rubber Santa head. Some of the Santa faces were hideous back then. I've got a photograph taken in the 40s of my grandfather in a uh, Santa Claus suit with a, with, a, with a mask on, and he's holding my mother and her brother and sister. They look horrified, and he looks frightening. Um, i got to find that picture, but some of those old Santa home costumes are pretty scary. This is in really good condition. This is not a dog toy. You probably remember these when you were little. I think there were some of these in my father's attic, the house he grew up in. Christmas hooks. Made in Japan. 
and then a little left in teacup. She's not supposed to be in there, but you'll get her as well. She is, um, I guess she's bottle brush. And she's going, ooh, oh, holy night. Just a little, you know, probably went on a, a package or maybe a Christmas corsage or who knows what this went on. But uh, it's just, it's, uh, oh, pull your skirt down. You're big girl. All right, there we go. Turn around. There she is. And she, she has a little bell. So she'll be in a grab bag of things. Talking about scary Santa Claus faces. This one takes the cake and you ain't seen nothing yet because when I put the batteries in and I turn him on, his eyes blink red. Ooh, 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 and he comes at you and he scares the children. You, you just wait. Uh, and then he does, he comes at you kind of like the mummy. Was it the mummy? And he rings his bell, but I got to get the uh, batteries in his boots. He was working when last in operation. Actually, the last time I haven't used him, I had to stop using him because Salem the cat, ooh, he would get mad at that thing. So I had to stop using it. But we can use it now, and I'm going to sell it. Now you know what this is. Wait a minute. I think you know what this is. I know what that is. You have to be of a certain vintage to know what that is. <clears throat> but if I stick that on there, I know you know what that is. Okay, so we've got it. We'll talk more about it tomorrow night. We've also got the original box that it came in. And it too is functioning. I wouldn't sell you broken down stuff, you know that, if I can help it. All right, now, um, oh, I have to tell you, I feel some kind of way about the next thing that I'm going to show you because the last time you saw these, everybody said, oh, they're so cute. You've got to buy them. Somebody's grandmother spent hours working on that. Yeah, I did. And then you, you stuck me with them. Been trying to sell these things for weeks and nobody wants them. So look at what I've been stuck with for the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. And we took a poll and overwhelmingly cute, creepy. This Q-tip Q -tip head Mrs. Claus. Most of you thought that she looked like um, she'd gotten into the eggnog. You know. Anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. No, I'm not. These will be for sale again, and hopefully someone this time will take these off my hands. If not, they'll continue to haunt you all throughout 2000 and. What is it going to be? 2003? 2023? Ow. I thought we'd all be in spaceships by now. You know, back in the 80s. 2023? I don't know. What does this go to? Hold on. Let me get these out of the way. Very unique bases. I have not seen this particular base before, have you? First time I've seen it. They fit beautifully on the windowsill. And they're, of course, completely working. There's one. Let's see if we can get it to... Ooh, it's like the light show at Wanamaker's. All right, there's one. And you get two little ones on either side. So if you like the old, if you don't have too many windows and like the old fashioned look, all right, I'll tell you who made them tomorrow night. This, I'm not gonna send to you because I do not want you to use that. 
Mm -hmm. Can you guess why? I don't know who cut off. Look, look what somebody did. I mean, Grandpa went down in the basement and he was determined to keep this. Well, you'll have to go and get yourself a different light for this guy. Now, all I've got left of the original box is that, but that is part of the original box. The rest of it is gone, but this is neat to display, and there he is. So you'll get yourself a replacement, which you can get at the craft shops, and then it clips up under there. I'll show you how to do it. So he's metal, and then he's flocked on the front. And let me make sure that this is not plugged in while I'm fiddling with it. If I plug in, plug the wrong thing in, and then I, I think this is dropping. It's either, uh, maybe it's mouse poop. Hold on. I don't think it's mouse poop. It's part of that electric cord. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. I told you I had some good old stuff. You know, nothing from the... Uh, 80s and 90s here. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, I'm strictly old timey. Right? All right, now, where are we? This will need, oh gosh, okay. You already saw these the other night very fast. Girly Candle Santa. Girly, the company. Winking Eye Santa Mug, our uh, pitcher, rather, in great shape. Plastic Church plays Silent Night. We won't wind it up now. Wonderful condition. Again, I showed you that quickly the other day. Uh, and then, and then, and then, oh, okay, and then, now this will need some restoration, and I'm going to let you crafters uh, have fun with this. I've got the bits and pieces of it, or some bits and pieces. Yeah? Now what does this go to? Well, it goes to this poor thing, but you're going to be able to doctor this back, get these back on there. And this is worth saving. It, as I said, it's got its damage, but it's an old one. And the cord is okay. And this will light up. Let's plug this in and let you see how exciting this is. Ready? Wait a minute. Wow. Okay. Now, so you're gonna have to dock, you're gonna have to get these things back on there. I'm getting glitter all over the place, but that's a project for you to figure out how to restore that. Ugh. And then this thing, this thing, I've got to reattach one of the bells. Now the ribbon is going to need a little bit of help, but this is probably late 50s to early 60s as well. Um, hard plastic bells. I have the third one. It just it came off and I've got to reattach it. I'll do that, I guess. And then the old foil with the pine cone and the old cord, you know, with those big old thick plugs, old timey Christmas. And you can put the flashing light bulbs in there if you want. Uh, but this is the original old silk, uh, what was the old silk ribbon. And I'll let you figure out what should be done with that. But it's all original. It's older than I am. It's probably 10 years older than I am. This probably goes back to about 1957 or so. Of course, they made this kind of thing for several years, and some people say, oh no, I remember from the 70s. Well, you know, three bells like this. So, good question. How do you date something? Well, you get accustomed to uh, the type of material that the bows were made out of, the way this foil is, the f these are foil instead of paper. Uh, this is hard plastic, I can tell by the uh, red and green electric cord. You saw this a lot in the 1950s. 
Also, that kind of a plug is something that you wouldn't see in the 1970s. So you look for clues, especially in the, in the hardware in terms of the uh, electrical cords and, what, and plugs and whatnot. So we're definitely old on that. Did I do it? Did I do it? I got one thing left. Okay, one thing left, and I love this. Look at this box. You can... No, I've got more. Well, a tablecloth, a wonderful old Christmas tablecloth. You'll see it tomorrow night. And I'm still unpacking boxes. I've got boxes on the front porch. I can't but hardly see out my window. I've got boxes in the basement. I even had to take some up to my attic and I haven't opened them yet. And you saw everything in the basement. I haven't even done glass yet. Now there's probably not gonna be any glass tomorrow night. Probably the glass is gonna be listed on eBay later this week. Such as the geese who fly with the moon on their wings. Is that one of your favorite things? Somebody asked me about this. So um, some Christmassy type glass in the eBay store, but we'll do a thrift haul and I'll show you. All right, this is, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold the fort. It's gonna be a beast to ship. But a lot of you tell me we can't find stuff like this in Colorado or California or wherever you are. So it's my pleasure to go out and find the things. I know it's costly for you for me to ship large items such a distance, um, but I'm happy to supply this and kind of be a personal shopper, if you will, and because I can find it around here, although it's getting a little more difficult. This revolves and it says on there with music. So we'll find out tomorrow night what kind of music we get with this one. Oh, I've got it, in, I'm showing it to you upside down. But a big revolving stand for your, again, aluminum Christmas tree. Oh, I'm just getting stuff all over me. And now the last thing to show you in a really nice original box. Look at that box. There is some tape on the side of it that was placed on there. I'm not sure by whom. That's okay. It's just on the side and it is preserving this box. Uh, there are many things you can do. You can stuff the boxes with tissue paper. You can reinforce them with cardboard. I've restored many old boxes by uh, cutting cardboard backs and then rubber cementing it to the back. Um, you know, I know in terms of historical preservation, that's not how you're supposed to do it, but Anyway, you can preserve these boxes any way that you choose. This one is in really good condition for its age, and we're probably back. This is either, this is probably just after the war. This could be late, this could be late 40s or very early 1950s. And it says, Star Treetop, the finishing touch to any well-decorated Christmas tree. Connect your Xmas tree string of lights to treetop, for the best effect, use a red light bulb. Immediately, it becomes the most beautiful ornament on your tree, immediately. Just, you know, and it was made in lovely Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Well, where is it? It's right here, and look at this thing. It's got a little spring on the bottom, so you put that on the top of your... I need to make a hat, and then hook this up to a battery. So let's plug this in. I have a blue light bulb in it because I thought a red bulb would make it look like a red, like Mars, maybe a white bulb. Well, the instructions say a red bulb gives you the best effect. I don't know. Let me plug it in and then I'll show it to you. Ooh. Hold on. This is what happens when you get too excited. Did I mess it up? No, but I probably just blew the, I probably bro broke the uh, light bulb, the uh, filament. I didn't, and I didn't electrocute myself either. Now stay there. Okay, wait a minute. 
Okay, so there you get the effect. Oh, I did kind of, I did kind of knock it out of uh, place. It just, you just push it right back in. There it is. Yeah. What do you think of that? Hmm. And so that's what the blue light bulb looks like in it. Let me unplug it again. It's easy to change the light bulb in that thing for whatever effect that you, whatever bulb that you might uh, like to put in it. It just pops right out of the back. I know there's more around here, and so there'll be more surprises tomorrow night. I hope you'll come back and um, fix yourself a nice cup of coffee. We'll go from 8 o'clock until about 10 or so, and you can join in on the chat or just sit back and enjoy the auction, uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. This is a lot of fun. Now let me go and get the glitter off of my pants before I leave this house. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Until then, I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying wait for the cat and so long for now.